Okay, so what we're going to look at here is how to solve this arithmetic sequence. Okay, we've got to solve for k and find the next two terms. So we know that to do this, the difference between 5k plus 1 and k is the same as the difference between k and negative 2. So if we were to put these on a number line, 5k plus 1 would be the same distance away from k as k would be from negative 2. Okay, so we then know we can subtract the second term from the third, and we can contract, subtract the first term from the second. Okay, when we simplify this part of this problem, we get negative 2 minus k, or if we divided that all by negative 1, we know that our difference is k plus 2. Okay, over here, when we simplify, k minus 5k minus 1 negative, is negative 4k minus 1, or if we divide by negative 1, 4k plus 1. Okay, so we know that those differences are equal to the same amount. Even though the equations aren't the same, we know that if, when we solve it out, those are going to equal the same amount. So we can set them equal to each other. So it then becomes k plus 2 equals 4k plus 1. And we solve that. So subtract 1, and then we have k plus 1 equals 4k. Now we're going to subtract k from both sides. 1 is going to be equal to 3k, so we'll need to divide by 3 to get k by itself. Okay, these 3's will cancel out, and k is going to be equal to 1 third. Alright, now we're going to look back and we're going to check our answer. The way we're going to do that is we're going to plug our k back into our original problem. So 5 times 1 third is 5 thirds, plus 1, which just for convenience, I rewrote as 3 thirds, gives us 8 thirds, which we can change, we can simplify to 2 and 2 thirds if we write it as a mixed number. k is simply 1 third, and then our third term is just negative 2. So if you look at the distance between 2 and 2 thirds and 1 third, it's a difference of 2 and a third in the negative direction, so we're going to add a negative sign there. The difference between 1 third and negative 2 is also 2 and a third. So we know that our k is correct because these differences match. All right, now if we go back and plug that in, and we keep counting, if we go 2 and a third further in the negative direction, we're going to get 4 and a third. Then 2 and a third more in the negative direction is going to give us negative 6 and 2 thirds. So k, again, k was 1 third, and negative 4 and a third, and negative 6 and 2 thirds are our solutions.